Hi, I'm Chris Manners with SF Club TV and you're watching Coping with COVID-19. Today I'm going to the pharmacy. Now, I'm not a medical professional or a doctor of any kind, sorry mom. I'm a video guy and this is my personal story. I have a family member who's in the at-risk group, so I'm the one who's going to the pharmacy. To get the most detailed and up-to-date information about the virus, go to sfgov.org. There's a really good FAQ there. I've been taking a plastic bag before I leave the house and putting a sanitizing wipe inside. And for this trip, I feel safer wearing latex gloves. I'm taking the smallest number of items with me. My debit card, ID, the gloves and the wipes. And that means there'll be fewer items to wipe down later if they come into contact with shared surfaces. When I get to the pharmacy, I put on my gloves. My goal while I'm inside is to not touch any common surfaces and try to keep at least six feet away from anybody else. This is my second visit of the day. The first time I came, there was a huge line, so I just left. This time, there's no line at all. I'm very careful after I use the pin pad to pay for my purchases. This is a point of contact that many people have touched, which is why I'm wearing the gloves today. I thank the pharmacist for her important work and leave. On my short walk home from the pharmacy, I'm careful not to touch my face. I keep the gloves on until I get to my recycling and trash containers, where I remove the packaging from the medicines and I put them in the recycling. Now, we don't need the instructions for these particular insulin medications because we're already very familiar with them. As soon as I get through the door, I wash my hands for at least 20 seconds. Then I'll wipe down my debit card and ID, and as an extra precaution, I wipe down the medicine's packaging and anywhere where they have touched indoors. Then I wipe down the front doorknob, and finally, I wash my hands again. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my story. I'm Chris Manners with SFGov TV. Thanks for watching.